welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your August 2018 monthly general reading. Those of you that are new to the channel, thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, Leo, please do subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. So this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And Leo, those of you that are celebrating birthdays, I hope all of you have a very beautiful, happy birthday. And as a reminder, if the reading does not resonate for you, please watch your other signs. I am using, for you guys, Crystal Visions. Beautiful deck. For all my Leo subscribers, August 2018. Sun, Moon, and Rising Suns. Okay. I think we're ready here. Leo. Leo Spirit. So, Leo, because it's your birthday time, you guys will be up first for absolutely everything. Those of you that would like to get a private reading with me, connect with me on Facebook, over on Instagram. I do upload every single day videoed dailies per element, so water, fire, earth, air. They're like a minute long. They're loving them over there. Check them out for the dailies. You guys will absolutely love them. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Instant go if you would like a quick question answered. Okay, this looks really nice. Wow, okay, the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, Ace of Swords, victory after going through some, some challenges, some difficulties. Some of you definitely could be coming through very successful with something. You know, I feel like, you know, a lot of you are overcoming something that was probably challenging you in the past. You know, and the Ace of Swords is all about that truth, clarity. So some of you definitely could be even, you know, seeing something very clearly. You could be hearing the truth. Others of you could literally just be taking that sword and cutting people out of your life that just are no longer serving you. Some of you are absolutely dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Male. So, you could be... Some of you definitely could be communicating your truth to this person. Could be hearing the truth from this person. Seeing something very clearly. When it comes to this water sign or vice versa whatever it is though i mean you're absolutely feeling this is your energy leo it's all about success victory you're feeling proud of yourself literally feeling as if you're on top of the world confident i do feel like I do feel like some of you, you could have had some challenges or obstacles with this person. And now at the start of the month, like you're absolutely hearing something. You know, and... And it's wonderful, too. You, you have two cards of victory. 
in this reading. So now, because it is a general reading, the Six of Wands in this position, if this is a challenge for, for some of you, I, I, some of you just might need the courage, the confidence to be honest, to follow your heart with this water sign. I feel like you need to be brave at the start of the month, you know, and to be honest in your foundation, you have justice. So some of you with justice in your foundation, you, you, you could have absolutely felt like you were treated unfairly, you know, just something wasn't quite right. You know, for some of you, it, it, it could have something to do with a legal matter. And it's possible that you could be involved in a legal dispute with this water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, this person could be an ex. If you're someone that's been waiting on a divorce to be final, that is, you're signing on the dotted line. That's absolutely happening if you haven't done so already you know this could also represent karmic justice too so if you do feel like something was done to you unfairly this could definitely be you receiving some kind of karmic justice <coughs> so sorry excuse me when I do a lot of readings I start to lose my voice you know, because in, interestingly enough, you have the Seven of, of Swords in the recent past. I just need a quick drink, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, you know, the Seven of Swords guy can represent so many different things. You know, but I feel like you know, for those of you that something was done unfairly, I feel like whatever whatever it was that you definitely found out about, you could have found out that someone was lying, cheating, sneaking around, or they were trying to. In the recent past, some of you could have actually had your suspicions with this Ace of Swords. This is this is definitely the truth, clarity, definitely coming out. If it's if it's not if it's if it's not about a water sign person, it could be about an air sign person. You know, this water sign could have air in their chart. You know, vice versa. Crowning you, you have the Two of Cups. So, for those of you that I mentioned, you could be waiting on a divorce to be final. I really, absolutely, positively see that happening. Oops. I hold the cards in my hands. Bam. You know, you got your clarity, you got your information, you signed on the dotted line, that happened. Or it is going to be. You know, because this is what you're, this is what you're thinking about. This is crowning you. So you're thinking about another person. And for some of you, it could be on the romantic front. But, I mean, it's a general reading. It doesn't have to be. And with the Two of Cups, it could be a friend, a family member. It's definitely someone that you're very close to, even if it's like a business partner. But there is definitely someone that you're thinking about 
I'm getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, for those of you that it's not anything negative, for some of you, you could have literally got married here with the Ace of Swords. You could have signed a legal contract with justice in your foundation. You could have went off to the Justice of the Peace or something. You know, just took off, got married. With the Seven of Swords, you know, sometimes talks about taking a risk. Some of you literally took a risk, ran off and got married. And if that's the case, I mean, congratulations. That's awesome. Well, in the second half of the month, you have the Knight of Swords. Some of you definitely could be acting hastily a little bit. Others of you could have found something out. And this could be you taking some kind of action. Now, this is someone that wants to move very forward very, very quickly. And you could be moving very quickly forward within your life in some way. Or definitely taking some sort of action. And those of you that are dealing with an air sign person. This could be that air sign person that is important around this time. You know, with the Knight of Swords, it would be someone that's younger. And in the position of, of how you see yourself, you have the Ten of Cups. I mean, so this with the... I mean, this is reunion to me. I mean, I mean, look. In this deck, absolutely. Two reunion cards here. Really. So for some of you, this is absolutely in regards to a relationship, a family matter. But whatever, whatever it is, it is very, very important to you, my friend. Friends. For those of you that this is something else, and if you're questioning, you know, you're in a relationship and things are going very well for you, I mean, absolutely amazing energy. I, I really do see this as true love, happiness, and abundance. Like, true blue emotional fulfillment. If you're partnered, it could be that some of you are traveling to see your partner, vice versa. They're coming to see you. For whatever reason, if you've been separated. Also, it could be that you're thinking about this other person. Maybe some of you are... Just simply working a lot and you're and you're going to make it a point to or you have you have been working a lot and you're going to make it a point to this month to, to try to try to really spend more time together. And and in the position of how other people are viewing you and your environment, you have the Queen of Cups. You know, this is your significant other or, or a person that's just very important at the start of the month, which, I mean, you do have the king and, and the queen, ah, sorry, and the queen here. That's a heck of a couple, but wait, we'll get to that. But let me, my mouth goes faster than my mind sometimes. So... Your significant other, or, or just a, per, a person that's very important at the start of the month, with the Queen of Cups in the position of how people are viewing you, this could be your significant other viewing you as loving, caring, and equal. Literally someone who is made to be with them. It's just so romantic. And with the King and the Queen of Cups, like... This is, uh, like, honest to God, I feel like in this deck especially, a match made in heaven. For real. Match made in heaven. Some of you are absolutely falling deeper in love. And for those of you, this could be your energy. Loving, caring, thoughtful. It could be feeling emotional. Emotional. 
but absolutely a match made in heaven. That's how I really see them to that 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 couple right now. And in your hopes and fears, you have the Nine of Cups. So, Leo, there is absolutely something that you're wishing and hoping for. And for some of you, that could be coming true. That could be coming through here. You have two cards of victory. So whatever it is that you've been wishing for, I feel like it absolutely could be taking place here at the end of the month. And I can clearly see that some of you are wishing for something very in particular. And you just want to be happy. And the Nine of Cups does represent, represent happiness, emotional abundance. And you're leaving the month with the Three of Pentacles. And I'm going to be honest, in a love reading, I really love this card. So, maybe for some of you, throughout the entire month, you're focused on this relationship. There's only two people in this card, in this deck, with this Three of Pentacles. And look at the setting, okay? Again, here's that beautiful clarity, truth coming to light. Maybe this person hurt you in the past. It's very possible. But whatever the situation, there was challenges. It doesn't matter. You know, and I mean, it could also be friends, family, but it's more on, it's more of an, of, of an emotional, of, of emotional matters. And at the end of the month, you could be working on something. Some of you could be focused on financial matters like your career. This represents teamwork. So some of you could be working on something as a team. For those of you that this resonates on relationship matters. The Three of Pentacles, as far as relationship matters, it speaks about teamwork. Two people that are, just like I said, you know, with justice, that are contributing equally to the partnership. So again, those of you that are in a relationship and things are, are, are really looking good, I feel like this is you guys really growing, falling more in love, just working very well together as a team and for those of you that maybe went through a divorce, I do feel like there is new love coming in for you. Some of you have probably already met this person. If not, you will be. With the Two of Cups crowning you, for some of you, you definitely already met this person last month. Because I'm, I'm videoing this on the 22nd. Of July so you are some of you are, you know are like could be on the verge of really meeting someone new and it's reciprocated and this month you're you are really just growing much more closer together Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's it. And this relationship is absolutely positively developing. This is really an amazing reading, guys. Really. I don't even feel the need to clarify anything. I really don't. But I will look at this Seven of Swords. Because you are getting it early. It is in the past. It's really, you know, I 
I just don't feel like it's anything to worry about. Okay, let's look at it though. Definitely the Seven of Swords for Leo. Okay, I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight. Two of Pentacles. Let me get one more. Look at that. Ace of Wands. That's amazing. So. New beginnings. New relationship. And with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you just might need some time to make, to make time for this person. Or vice versa. It could really just be one of you has a lot going on. You know, that did, you know, we already saw that here. Definitely. You know, I, f I feel like that even here. You know, some of you could just, maybe one of you has a lot going on. You know, and this could be weighing your options. Maybe you weren't sure if you could believe this person. You know, should you take this risk on this person? There is definitely, a, 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 there is really a very strong physical sexual attraction with this person. But I do feel like some of you were on the fence about it. But you're doing it. You're going for it. I really do feel like you are. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. That's it. You're going for it. I see it there. Big time. Ten of Pentacles. You're going for it. There's your risk. There's your risk. You're absolutely doing this. I love it. You have this beautiful new beginning that's coming in for you. Some of you are absolutely starting down a beautiful new path. You can't even make this shit up, people. And again, I mean, your, I mean, your risk, it, 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 it totally confirms it. Because this could, this could require a risk. It's a risk for some of you. Honestly, with the Ten of Pentacles, some of you could be moving in with your partner or already did. If you just got married, you could literally be trying to purchase a home together. You could be a little bit in a hurry to do this. I would be too, no doubt. Just try to stay patient. You're absolutely moving toward, towards really beautiful new beginnings here. And that are going to be very rewarding for you in many, many ways. And of course, that could also be fine on the financial front. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pull you guys. I really love these cards. I think I, I used them last week too. Victoria Mosley, Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Amazing. And also a Romance Angels card. Beautiful reading, though, really. Additional guidance. Clip. Okay. That one. This is. This now it's on the floor. That one definitely wants to be heard. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Of course, all the way back there. Okay, what do we got? Perception. Okay, interesting. Women's Angels. And, 
And guys, really, I feel a lot of soulmate energy here too with this Two of Cups, this Nine of Cups. I, I just, on the relationship front, I mean, you guys really are a power couple. A, a match made in heaven. Just, I, that literally just came upon me, literally. This card did flip down, but it didn't flip up, but we'll take it. Oh my God, it is, this person is your soulmate. I just had a feeling. That happens a lot, but I guess when I stop getting excited about it, I'm not passionate about what I do anymore. I, this is definitely, this person you're with, gonna meet, whatever the case may be, soulmate. Really, it's absolutely beautiful perception for some of you you know you absolutely have this new path this new beginning that's opening up for you and you're probably worrying about this and I feel like it's because of the way you see something I feel like the way you see something is very is it's just very important to you so definitely needing to have an optimistic outlook I mean really I'm with soulmate honest to God you can't make this shit up people uh, some of you are get absolutely getting into a soulmate relationship this relationship is absolutely developing try not to be too much in a hurry when it comes to this, if you ha if you are questioning this person's anything, this person this that's your answer. Yes, this person is your soulmate. And you know, I said this before too. I definitely feel like. Some of you have definitely been hurt before. Probably by this person. Maybe not for all of you, but... I feel like you definitely have been. And... You know, perception is going to play a role in this. Really needing to see things from a positive perspective. No matter how you resonate with this reading, you need to stay positive this month. And I know that that's hard to do. Listen, I'm a Virgo. When I want shit, I want it yesterday. You know, a lot of us are like that, but you, really, this is absolutely an amazing reading, guys. Amazing. And, and, for soulmate to come out and I had already said that like both of those cards confirmed about everything I already said about this reading and it is what it is this person's definitely your soulmate maybe just be a little more open and be patient This, this has the potential to really grow into something strong and beautiful. Amazing. Leave your comments on this one because it's a very strong soulmate relationship rating. It really is. All right. Leo, absolutely love you guys. Amazing reading. Happy, happy birthday to you guys. I will see you guys back here soon. Take care.